today I'm unboxing a Universal Yum box. And it just came in the mail today. Uh, this month's theme, or this month's country was the U.S. So, we're going to see how many stuff in here I've already had since I live in the U.S. Here's the booklet. U.S. Well, and the flag's kind of messed up. There, it's supposed to look like that. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. <laughs> oh, I already see some stuff in here that I've seen in stores. Um, let's see. The first thing I'm going to grab in here is, is Route 11 Chesapeake crab chips, which probably won't like because I don't really like crab, but I'll try them. Um, the second thing is Alaskan teriyaki salmon jerky. That sounds kind of good. Um, then we have, I'm going to find it. Well, let's get that for now. Then we've got I've seen these in stores in the stores. Uh G H Creditor Chicago mixed popcorn. Somebody said this was really good when I asked them in the store. So hopefully I like it too. Um we've got Oh, here's the one before. We've got uh, let's see, two prickly pear cactus candies. These little guys. I'm sure they're probably like, oh, Arizona. I was thinking Texas, but they're Arizona. There's two Abba Zabba, Abba Zabba peanut butter taffies. There's two of them. Two. Um, there's a black and white cookie. Ooh, that looks yummy. Looks like it needs to be kind of refrigerated a little bit. Because it's kind of melting. Um, you've got the key lime coconut patty, which probably won't like because I don't like coconut. Um, you've got one, two, three, four, four of these friend. Lingers salt water taffy. They're they look yummy. Um, does it say what kinds there are on here? Um, it doesn't really say. There's a s pink one. I got a pink one. There's this white one with blue stripes in it. Uh, there's a regular plain white one. And then there's this dark brown one. Um, we've got the Dee Dee's Gourmet Jalapeno Cheese Straws. Those sound good. It's a classic southern recipe. North Carolina. Ooh, North Carolina. Um, there's these applets and cutlets. Apple, apricot, and walnut candies from the Pacific Northwest. These. Um, Washington. They're like 
Turkish Delights. Never had a Turkish Delight, so may or may not like that. There is one, two, three, four of these Montana Wild Huckleberry Twists, which they sound kind of good, too. They look like that. They're like the twisty old-fashioned candies that you get. Mm. There's four of these. One, two, three, four. Vermont Maple Drops. So these are going to probably taste like maple syrup. Sort of. They like, you can't really, well, you can kind of tell. They're like a flag, or not a flag, a leaf pattern on them. So they look like a maple leaf. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. We have one of these. A lemons, lemons jalapeno pecan praline, and this is Texas. So who knows? That sounds really spicy though. And then our bonus item, we got a bonus item. Are these uh, Grippo's barbecue potato chips? It says bonus item, a gift from the founders. That sounds yummy. Uh, these are Idaho, of course. Because that's where the potatoes come from, right? Um, let's see, let's read. Fourth of July, let's see. Where's the trivia? Let's see if I can get any right, huh? USA Trivia! The current 50 star American flag was designed by um, A. A former slave who fought in the Civil War. B. A f the first female senator. C. A 16 year old as a part of a school project. Or D. Betsy Ross. Well, it's probably not. I don't think it's D. Because she did the very first flag. Um, I said C, because I just thought it was fun. Oh, and it is C. C, a 16-year-old as a part of school project. He received a B- minus on the assignment. Okay. Only a B-. minus. According to the World Giving Index, Americans are the most likely people in the world to oh, get arrested for jaywalking, B, helping a stranger, C. Walking by a homeless person without giving them money. Or D. Drop their gum on the sidewalk. Um, I want to say A, but I'm thinking C. The walking by the homeless person without giving them money. Oh, it is B. Help a stranger. Okay. Um, three. An estimate of... Estimated 1 in 10 Americans are related to A. One of the original pilgrims who arrived aboard the Mayflower. B. One of the 56 singers of the Declaration of Independence. I can't talk today, apparently. C. One of the sons of Christopher Columbus. Or D. One of the Beatles. Um, I'm going to go with probably A... A, one of the pilgrims who arrived aboard the Mayflower. I got one right. Oh, wait. No, I got two right because I had one, one and three right. Uh, and four, who was the wealthiest president of all time? A, George Washington, B, Abraham Lincoln, C, Bill Clinton, or D, Barack Obama? Well, it's not D and it's not C. Um... I'm going to go with George Washington. A. George Washington. His net worth was over $5 million. Sweet. I got three of them right. And I missed one. Darn. Listen to a patriotic playlist. This month, turn up your speakers to the song that celebrates the U.S. Jam out to your 4th of July favorites. The, the song that reminds you to 
party in the USA and make you proud to be an American. Uh, let's see, I don't want to read. No, I'm not going to read that. Um, let's see, the next month's box. People get confused when you mention this place. It's a country, an island, a province, a state. Of all alone, off all alone in the East China Sea, they're fans of red beans, mochi, and lots of green tea. <gasps> it's gonna be Japan. I want it to be Japan. Well, I hope it's Japan, cause that it, that sound, the clue sounds like Japan. Here's the clue. You want to read it? Um, but. Yeah, that is my Universal Yums box for June 2016 with the country of the USA. Thanks for watching. Bye.